Almost nothing. I see a little dent there, and that's about it. Yeah, other than that, no damage. Dog would have been gone. But the truck's still here. Look, the ice that we're on right now is a good average thickness for a frozen lake that you feel safe driving in an automobile out onto. So, based on what we've seen, we have to call it busted. We've all come a long way in the freezing cold to see a good old-fashioned truck sinking. And two dozen pounds of dynamite packed inside these high-tech directional cones should do the trick. Well, it's clear from the whole pattern I see around the car that we've got a nasty case of ice gophers. These little varmints will bore their way around any vehicle they find on the ice and chew on it underwater. There's only one way to take care of them, and that's high explosives. like a liquid earthquake. Surface snow fills the air and blurs the view. By the time it clears, the car has disappeared. I don't see no SUV. No more SUV. <laughs> it went bye-bye. So what do you think? Did it just blow the truck up or did it sink it? Well, I see a couple pieces of debris from the truck, but nothing major. I think it's sinking 99% of that truck's under the water. Let's yank on the chain and see what happens. Okay. Incredibly, this fresh blasted duck pond is already freezing over. Adam and Jamie really don't know for sure where the car went, but a few tugs on the chain confirm they've got a two-ton catch. <laughs> I think we're going to need more explosives to get this truck out. I think we are. If they weren't putting it in, they're going to work getting it back out again. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not yanking your chain. To get the car back, they have to blast the ice one more time. Filming stops as the light fades, but the car was retrieved. 